in this video tutorial i am going to practically show you enter vlan configuration step by step in cisco swiss i used to separate cisco swiss that's are catalyst 9200 l 48 port and another is 37502024 port the catalyst 9200 l we use for port switch and catalyst 37502 we use as an access switch this video i will show how to create vlan and assign name in the vlan disable vlan 1 configure inter routing vlan and how to declare native vlan how to configure transport how to use access switch now i connect the switch using control cable we write here no we go to global configuration mode now we change the switch hostname switch hostname is core now we create three separate vlan for that we go to global configuration mode first create vlan 10 then its name it then create vlan 11 its name sr now create vlan 12 its name mktg Now we assign IP in VLAN 10. Now I assign IP in VLAN 11, that's its different switches. Now we assign IP in VLAN 12. Now we show our VLAN status. By default, all switch ports are belongs to VLAN 1. Here, VLAN 10, 11, and 12 have no port. Now we show all switch ports, including IP address. Show command here, show IP interface brief. Here, VLAN 1, VLAN 10 and VLAN 11, VLAN 12 are, are physical port. Now we disabled VLAN 1 cause we already create 3 VLAN. Now we create another VLAN that is VLAN 99. We use it as a native VLAN. Now we configure IP routing that is 
इंटर राउटिंग भिलेंड Now, Swiss goes 1 to 47, we declare as a export. Come on here, Swiss port mode access. Now we now we add port in VLAN ten. Here port one to twenty four hours now belong to VLAN ten. Now we add port. 25 to 47 are villain 11. Command here switch port access villain 11. Now we configure trunk port here. 48 port we declare as a trunk port. Come on here, switch port put trunk. Our trunk port set. Trunk port native VLAN 99 we allow this trunk port VLAN 10 11 and 12 Now we save our configuration. And now we check our neighbor switch that are connect connection via trunk port. Here we see switch catalyst 3750 are connected to 48 port switch. Now we logging another switch using putty. We can check in device manager here port now 3 so we edit here 3 now it's transport your font size Here is initial dialog box. We write no. Uh, 
And it connected port number forty eight. Now we check host name of the Swiss. Here we see all Swiss port are by default member of VLAN 1. Now we configure transport on port number 24 so we enter port. then twin post trunk encapsulation dot one q then switch port trunk native vlan 99 Arrow VLAN 10 to 12. Now save the command. Now we declare other port 1 to 23 as a access port. And that's port, that's access port, are member of VLAN 12. Now it is about VLAN 1. Here we see port 1 to 23 art belongs to VLAN 12. We know that trunk positive reports that carry forward belongs data. Here we see port number 24 is a trunk port along that cell of VLAN 1, 10 to 12. Now we go to our PC and assign IP in VLAN 12 series. Go to one from and pin VLAN 10 PC. 
the successfully pin. I already assigned IP and connect this laptop on VLAN 10 port.